everybody. I'm Miss Barb, and I hope you're having a really good day. I'm going to read you a story today, and it's a little bit of a sad story because it's about people picking on other people because of the color of their skin. Now, maybe you've been picked on at some point. Probably all of us have been picked on. Maybe it's because of the way you look or the way you talk or where you're from, but you know how badly that feels. Uh, so this is a story about how to be brave when someone picks on you. But it's also important to think about what would you do if you saw someone picking on somebody else? Would you join in and pick on the kid? Or would you try to stand up with the person being picked on and stop them from doing that? Sometimes it's really hard to get other people to stop picking on you or picking on somebody else. But what's really important is that you are never someone that picks on people because you know how badly that feels. So the story I'm going to tell you is called Ruby Bridges Goes to School. Here's the cover. Okay. And it's a true story. It is a story about a little girl who is not allowed to go to school because of the color of her skin. And maybe some of you know about this, but... It used to be that if you had dark skin, you couldn't go to school with kids that had light skin. Um, and thankfully, that's done now. But you probably know, maybe your parents have been talking to you about the news, that some of this stuff is still going on. And it's really important that we learn how to treat people to better and stop all this. Um, so this story would have happened about the time I was born. Okay, So it's a long time ago, um, but it's a really good story. Okay, so again, Ruby Bridges goes to school. A long time ago, some people thought black people and white people should not be friends. That was silly. In some places, black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhoods as white people. And here's a picture from the book of somebody being mean. We don't like him. And in some places, black children and white children could not go to the same schools. This is called segregation. The United States government said segregation is wrong. People should live where they want. People should eat where they want. Children should go to school where they want. And here's the pictures from that page. Okay. My name is Ruby Bridges. In 1960, I went to kindergarten in a school for black children. I liked my school. I liked my teacher. I liked my friends. And here's a picture of Ruby. Isn't she cute? But there was a school for white children even closer to my house than the school for black children. It was the William France Elementary School. The government said Ruby Bridges should be allowed to go to the William France School. Let me show you what the school looked like there. That's Ruby's school. In 1961, I was in first grade. My mother took me to the France School. Marshals, that's like police officers, marshals came with us to make sure we were safe. And you see Ruby being taken into school by those big men who were protecting her from people being mean. And here's the other picture, her mom going with her to school. Some people did not want a black child to go to the white school. They stood near the school and they yelled at me to go away. Parents took their children out of school and I was alone with my teacher, Mrs. Henry. And there's Ruby with her teacher, Mrs. Henry, all alone in the school, because all the other parents took their kids out of school, which was not nice. I loved Mrs. Henry, and Mrs. Henry loved me. I was a very good student. I learned math, I learned how to read, but I wished the other children would come back. Months and months passed. Then one day, children began to come back to school. 
At last I had friends to play with. I was very, very happy. There's Ruby with her new friend. Many people have read about me in newspapers and in books. A famous writer, John Steinbeck, wrote about me. He wrote that I was very brave. A first lady, that's the wife of the president, Eleanor Roosevelt, wrote a letter to me that I was a good American. Norman Rockwell was an artist who painted a picture of me. The painting has become very famous. So there's the painting of Ruby going off to school that's so famous now. Now I'm grown up, I am married, and I have children. One day, Mrs. Henry and I were both asked to be on a TV show. That was the first time we had seen each other in many years. Now we talk to each other very often. So here's Ruby all grown up, and there's Mrs. Henry with her. Now black children and white children can go to the same schools. I like to visit schools. I tell my story to children. I tell children that black people and white people can be friends. And most important, I tell children to be kind to each other. And that's the end of the story. So I hope you really like the story and I hope you remember to be kind to everyone and always try to remember what it feels like to be picked on because none of us like that. Okay, have a really good day. Bye-bye.